YouTube channel and thank you for coming back. Um, today's video is going to be on getting organised. It's one of my favourite things to do. I actually love being a super organised person and I thought I could give you my top tips to help you guys do the same. A lot of people struggle with being organised, um, they worry and stress and then it leads to, you know, it's just like an effect that you tried to control it and you just couldn't. So, my tips for staying organised, let's have a look. <clears throat> Number one, using your notes. That's actually what I'm looking at right now, my notes on my phone. You can use a notepad, you know, you can be traditional or you can just use the notes on your phone. I like to use the ones on my phone because I know that I'll always have my phone with me. So I can quickly look back and it's just easy. Bullet point, sometimes a word that or a letter just written on there will trigger me into thinking about something that I should have done or should have remembered or need to do and need to get sorted. Number two, an app. This app is down here and it's called Alarmed, just here. Um, it's like got a green one with like a little bow on it for some reason. This is an Apple phone so I know it's on the App Store, I can't, I don't actually know if it's on Android. This is amazing. This, I can't really, mm. so you can add a reminder in here, just um, shopping. Uh, you can check the time and dates, so you can put some like to do's in advance so for the coming day so if I put done in for shopping um and then here yeah there we go so today if I've got some shopping to do and sort splotch that's my guinea pig by the way I've just got to sort his little bed out um so I just have to remind myself to to do that because obviously it's not done every day so um it reminds me and then once it's done so here's shopping Marker's done, gone, and I've only got one more thing to do today. So it's quite good, because um, it reminds me and I can then tick it off, and I quite like the idea of being able to press something and tick it off. It's a bit like when you write it down and you scribble it off. There's so, to me, there's so much satisfaction. Sometimes <laughs> I add things that I've done onto my list that weren't there originally, just so I can scribble them off and feel more productive. Who else does that? Probably no one. My calendar in my phone, again, a lot of these are on my phone because my phone is always with me and I think if you're someone like me that's always on their phone or has always got their phone with them, then this is perfect. Um, here we go. I mean, you're never going to forget work, but it's on there. Um, just basic things like, um, like I'm moving house and um, it's my friend's birthday and I've got everything just jotted in, colour coordinated so that I know, you know, is, is that... Um, uh, my business is that you know my home life I mean I'm a personal trainer I am I have my own business I have to be organized so here we have you know some of my clients just a list of their names of uh, who's turning up I don't really want to show their names but just a list of them one after the other who's coming what time I never lose track that way I also have um, a paper version of a calendar in my bedroom which just hangs on the wall just like any normal calendar would and I just have that for my birthdays, um, events, rather than you know things I've got to do it's more about remembering things that you do yearly then you don't actually need to put them anywhere else because you know that they're on that calendar. It's kind of like having two separate calendars for separate parts of your life so in my case I have uh, my personal training business and I have a diary for that and I also have a diary for um, my job at the school as a PA so that they keep separate and I keep organised in both parts of my life so yeah if you have like many job roles or many jobs like myself then just keep several diaries or calendars uh, at hand keep tidy declutter things all the time, clear your drawers out, clear your cupboard out, just make sure that you're all the time, you're, you, you essentially like having a spring clean every weekend, if you declutter clutter all the time you feel more organised, you don't feel like everything is getting on top of you, if your drawers are cleared out you know that that's organised, if your wardrobe's cleared out you know that that's organised and you don't 
I think it's a lot of a psychological sense as well. If you are tidy, if you are clean and um, just prepared, then, you know, you're going to have a good, you're going to have a good day. You're going to have an organised, set, structured day. I know when it comes to my clothes, I'm always sorting out my clothes that I don't want, giving the rest to charity. And then that makes me sort out which works, which clothes I want for my PA work, which clothes I want for my personal training work, which ones I want for going out, which ones I want to just chill in. And I have like areas of my life that are sectioned out. So when it comes to my work life, I've always got my um, my trainers ready for my personal training the next day. I've always got my clothes out and ready that I know that I'm going to be wearing to, to school for work. Everything is then organised and I don't need to panic about it. Um, yeah, that's one of the things I use also every day. Like, I'm always preparing things in advance. I tend to do, like, a day before thing. Like, okay, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. What would I wear tomorrow? What do I need with me tomorrow? Do I need this bag? Do I need this lunch? Do I need so-and-so? And I have all of those things ready next to my clothes, knowing it's a little bit like when you're a kid and your mum sets your clothes up for the next day. And it's like, right, your socks are here. Next to your lunchbox, make sure you take them both. And I've kind of kept that with me because I think it stuck with me so much that I was able to use it as a grown-up and it kept me organised rather than falling off track. Chipping in. If you live with someone and um, say it's your partner or your family and you're all living in this house, share jobs, all chip in, just do things for one another. I know for a fact that my mum, you know, on certain days she's going to be working late. I'm going to empty that dishwasher for her. That keeps her organised and the family organised because then, once we've had tea, they can just go straight in and nothing is slowed down. Everybody is working as a team. To me, my family are everything. My partner, everything. You work to help each other. Why hinder each other? I know, you know, I know I need to change my bed on that particular day. I'll let my partner know. He's then changing the bed for me. You help each other out, that's one less job to do. You organise, you're on the roll, you're on the ball. One last thing I'd like to point out is that in my house we have a um, blackboard which you can write anything that comes to your mind, it's in the kitchen, anything that comes to your mind that you need to remember, that you need to do, pop it on the list, go back when you know, you're know you in a better state of mind with your pen and paper, with your phone, write it down, pop it in, bam. The, the idea is to always take things out of your mind, that stops the stress, that stops the worry. I know my dad usually, <laughs> he has a notebook in his room where he keeps a lot of his jobs and things that he needs to do. He also is self-employed and um, it, you know everything is going on in your brain and a lot of the time it's when you're asleep. So he gets up in the middle of the night and he writes down, sorry about that, he writes down um, everything that he needs to do that day and writes it in his diary. It's halfway through the night but he gets up, writes it down, and that's it. The brain can shut off again. The brain can go back to sleep, and you're not laid awake thinking about that particular thing. Everyone in my family has always been a very, you know, let's make a list, let's do it this way, let's do it that way. And I think that's just the way that my family work. Everybody, you know, can work differently. You guys might work differently. Please, if you have any tips, leave some comments in the, in the comment section below. I would appreciate that. I want more and more tips to be organised. I know, I know I love being organised, so anything to help me, I'll appreciate it too. Um, so yeah, that's one of the other things, the blackboard, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We all help one another stay organised, that is the best way to do it, then you can get a lot done in a small amount of time and accomplish every day. I quite like the fact that I think I thrive on being organised, like it's quite sad really. But I think once you are organised, you can do so many things in your life and you can think about so many things at once and it just makes life feel easier. So, you know, if you've got a lot of things going on in one day, don't get bogged down about it, don't stress out about it. Take everything as it comes, boss every single one of them and feel good about it. Enjoy it and then once you've accomplished it all, chill out, relax, don't think about another thing. Tell yourself, you know, this is my time to relax. Put it on your to-do list if you need to, relax. Do it! I thought this would also be a good time to point out that I am, if you can see, a Just Strong team member. Um, basically I'm an ambassador for Just Strong. I have wrote a blog post on this if you want to head over to my Gym Chick site. Yeah, I have a discount code if you would like to get some gym active wear from them. Um, it's actually a site just made for women because we're just strong women. We are 
I'm all about women empowerment, you see, you know, Beyonce is my girl. So, yeah, my discount code is JOverton10. So, yeah, please use my discount code. It would really support me and my channel. Okay, I think that's it for this video. I uh, hope that's helped some of you guys. And thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.